Cole was killed, we were taken to this crowd Captain Steiner. About ten miles behind the lines to a temporary prison compound. Saunders smuggled me out the next morning before the guard got my name on the roster. Oh! All right, take it easy. Mr. Man from Saunders squad, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Saunders and his men are still prisoners. He sent this map back with Nelson. Yeah, Saunders marked all the crowd positions. Captain, the interrogating officer is part of an SS unit stationed near the prison. SS? You sure of that? Yes, sir. That's why Saunders took the risk of smuggling me out. He thought you'd want to know. Well, the crowds have been trying hard to grab prisoners all along the front. But the most they could hope to get from Saunders and his men is minor tactical information. Sure, but all they have to do is take a lot of unrelated facts and maybe they fall into place. All they have to know is we're weak in one sector. And they hit us with crack SS troops. And we're really in trouble. Well, I think the best thing we can do is hit them before they hit us. I'm going up to battalion. Yes, sir. Sir? What about Saunders and the rest of his men? Miss, uh, Miss Steiner will cut them to pieces trying to find out how much information they've got. I'm sorry. Sir? If we move out, can't we get to Saunders and the other guys before the crowd's moving back to another camp? Nelson, Saunders got you out. Maybe he and the other boys have already made a break for it. They can't, Lieutenant. The guys have had it. Even if Saunders could pull the men together, the other prisoners, the, the ones that were there when we were brought in, they're scared. And Akers, their NCO, Steiner's beaten him down, broken him. You men have been stupid. I tried to enlist Sergeant Akers here to enlighten you newcomers, but Sergeant Saunders chose not to be enlightened. Last night's escape attempt has cost the life of one of his men. Brings you to Karen. During last night's escape attempt, this man struck one of the guards. He will die for it. Lord Durbin. Since you men displayed such an aptitude for digging at the fence last night, you will now dig a grave for your unfortunate comrade. You will use whatever equipment you used last night. You will neither eat, nor sleep, nor drink until the body is properly buried. Give him dignity. Bury him deep. They're not a cot up there. We're never going to get out of here. Get the tools. Sarge. Maybe Akers is right. We did all we're supposed to do. We tried to escape. Get the tools.
What was your strength on this sector? Company? Battalion? The prisoner who got away, he was from your group. Did you have any information? You struck one of my men. You will die for it. I'll give you a choice. Can we die mercifully or slowly? Now, your strength in this sector. My name is Paul LeMay. My rank is Private First Class. My serial number is 10. Hold in the lot. cousin in Stuttgart. She was a gentle soul, too. She played the cello. When the war started, she was put into a factory, but the, the work, the noise was, was too much for her. She was transferred to Bremerhaven. She produced babies for the Reich. She was of some use. Grocery clerk, there seems to be no place for you in this war. Last one of us. You gotta tell him something. Anything. Understand. We've had it. We're beat. All right, let's see what beat. Let's say it's just a matter of time before we're all lying in a hole just like this one. But what do we have to lose? Let's take a long shot. If we're gonna die, let's die trying. We might make it. You can't do their thinking for them anymore. From here on in, every man has to make up his own mind. Now, are you with us or not? I'm with you. We're 
home with you. I ask you again, the man from your group who escaped, did he have information? What did you learn on your reconnaissance patrol the night before you were captured? Did you use your radio? Did you contact your superiors? You're a corpsman. You know how intense pain can be. One Halloween, when I was about three years old, a bunch of goblins and ghouls came to our house. It scared me so bad, I screamed, ran right into the piano. It took 20 stitches to sew up my head. Next year, those same goblins and ghouls came around, screamed and stomped and hollered. This time, I just laughed. It's just a bunch of kids hiding behind their little Halloween masks. What is, Captain? You only get so scared. Red on your mask's not gonna do it. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps not. I'll think about it. While you think about it. Niemand sieht weg. Digging a tunnel. We don't have any tools. Well, we just we just dug a grave. Yeah, with our bare hands. Yeah, even if we could dig a tunnel, Steiner'd probably find us. You think he would? He'd probably laugh himself sick at us. You know, when I was a kid, huh? Went to see a magic show. It was a wonderful magician. He did this trick. After the show, I went backstage and I asked him how he did the trick. <laughs> he wouldn't tell me. He would tell me one thing, though. He said, you get their attention with, with one hand. Well, the other one does the trick. You mean we really wouldn't use a tunnel? That's right. All right, I give up. 
What's our right hand going to be doing while our left one builds a tunnel? Right hand. It's going to be building an electric gate. The sun is. You've been out in the sun too long. Ah, oh, it's simple enough. The guard at the gate has got a key. The key opens the lock. When you electrocute the guard, take the key and open the gate. Well, uh, what about the other guys around the fence? We wait till they're out of sight. Every night they check the edge of the woods. The guard at the gate might scream. No, well, maybe he won't. Maybe he'll just... He'll just grunt. It won't work, Sarge. That's DC. Direct current. You gotta have a good ground. What if, um... Uh, what if we're standing on water? What if it was muddy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe we gotta wait till it rains. We can't wait. Okay, he's gonna be shot. We have no time. What are you gonna do, son? Oh yeah. Kirby, William G. Serial numbers 1302882. I'm no longer interested in your personal statistics, Private. If your intellect is as substantial as your stubbornness, you'd be a genius. But it is what you give one the impression you have the brain of a jackass. My name is Jackass. My serial number is... I have no time for liberty. Within 24 hours or less. Contact your father and mother and tell them that you're dead. You could contact my mother? I could. Then you could give her a message for me. You tell her that I'm a little tired of all this chocolate chip cookie she's been sending me. Maybe she could send along a little fruitcake next time. Fruitcake would be just fine. Sure, Inzi and Steiner. Ja, Steiner, don't you? Ja, ja, wohl. Ich habe begonnen. Ja, Standartenführer. Sofort. Heil Hitler. Interrogating for the night. We can get some work done on that tunnel. Exactly. What's the use? We're bushed. We won't use that tunnel anyway. Stan has got to believe this is a legitimate escape attempt. Go ahead, you go rest for a while. All right. Little John. You and I will turn it there a while. 
How's it going? Six months, we're home free. All right, little John and I will take over now. Okay. I'll scratch around the junk and see if I can find some wire. Good morning. You men seem to have gotten your clothes dirty from your uh, grave digging. Looks that way. I do not like to see my men so poorly dressed. I will have the guards bring in tubs of water. You will all wash your clothes. Then there will be no reason for you to have dirty clothes tomorrow morning. Well, there. No, no reason at all. The captain. Yeah? I was thinking if things work out, maybe we can meet each other halfway so no one gets hurt. Are you saying that you intend to cooperate, Sergeant? It's a two-way street. Since you're in charge here, I figure you should make the first move. You share the sergeant's sentiments? Sergeant may, may change his sentiment if you shoot me. You really think so? Think so?
bring the big one. We'll see if this is indeed a two-way street. The clothes are wet. They might short everything. It'll dry. What about the water from the hose? It didn't reach the gate. Maybe little Jean could turn around again when he comes back. Suppose he can't do it. Well, suppose he can't. You got a better idea? Want to take a train out of here? Want to stand it for a three-day pass? Go on, hang up some more clothes. good. There's no short. We got a weapon.
a drive. Let's pretend they're not. I don't want Steiner wondering about this clothesline. Leave some on and take some off. He didn't make it. Captain, we're finished with the tubs. What do you want us to do with them? Just put them down. The guards will take them away. Make sure Steiner can't use that phone. I want to get Gates out and you hear the trucks go by. We're off and running. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Sag mal, hast du was zu rauchen für mich? Wann? Ich habe schon lange nichts mehr geraucht. Gib mir eine Zigarette. Zigarette? Ja. Aus Zigarette, ja? Zigaretten? Ja. ja. Amer American Zigaretten. Die sind gut, was? Zug. Zug? Was ist ein Zug? Gib mir den Zug. Du sollst mir den Zug machen. 
Oh, you want? You want some of this? Yeah, ich habe schon lange Not like 
like this, and you could see his face. You can't murder me. That's all it would be, you know. You haven't the stomach for it. You couldn't live with yourself. Thanks for the lift. The sector's just about sewed up. Wanna join the party? Some friends I'd like to drink to. Mason, Cole Rankin. And Gates. 
scared little grocery clerk who laid in that room dying for three days while Stannis treaded. And the grocery clerk killed the Superman. Sergeant. Let's go drink to friends.